Ever wonder how game creators make their sprite movements so smooth and satisfying? Today we'll be exploring an easy way to also make your sprites move smoothly and more professionally. Let's start by making two new local variables. We will call them xvel and yvel. Next, drag in a when green flag clicked block and a go to x0 y0 block. Now we are going to create a custom block. Go to my blocks, click on make a block, type in movement physics, click on add an input, type in speed, click on add an input, type in friction. Great. Drag our newly created block to the programming palette and put it inside the forever loop. Now type in 2 for the first blank and 0.9 for the second blank. You can adjust these values to your own liking, as the first value will control how fast your sprite accelerates, and the second value will be the friction that determines how fast you speed up and slow down. Perfect! What this piece of code does is that it, cha it is changing the variable xvel by whether the right arrow key or left arrow key is pressed. If the right arrow key is pressed, then it will return a value of 1, which then is multiplied by the speed to give it 2. This is the same if the left arrow key is pressed, except that we want it to return a value of negative 1, so the sprite can go the other way. Next, we are multiplying the x velocity by the friction. Any value works as long as it is less than 1. The closer it is to 1, let's say 0.99, the less friction there is. The smaller the value, for example 0.6, the more friction there is. Finally, we will change the x position of the stripe by x vel. This allows smooth movement horizontally. All we need to do now is to duplicate the script and change it to the up down arrow keys and y vel. Ta da! You can see that our script works perfectly well and you can play around with the script by adjusting the values in the movement physics block. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Scratch tutorials. See ya!